Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by and welcome to the Making the Consumer Plus Sustainability Connection webinar. Your speakers for today, I'd like to welcome Tatiana Gormley, Future Senior Research Manager at Buzzback, and Wilson Griffin, Coordinator of Sustainable Chain Value, Chain, Value Chains at Rainforest Alliance. Tat Tatiana has been with Buzzback since 2005, working with companies in the beauty, CPG, food and beverage, advertising, and pharmaceutical industries. She has designed and managed many studies for some of Buzzback's top clients. Fluent in three languages, she brings over three years of supplier-side marketing experience from Brazil and holds a BA in communications and marketing from the, the McKenzie University in Brazil, and a master's in business and market research from Fairfield University. Wilson Griffin has worked in a market development for the Rainforest Alliance for the past four years. In his role, Wilson helps connect Rainforest Alliance certified farms with buyers and importers in the North American market. This includes sourcing assistance for agricultural businesses, traceability support, and messaging. He currently focuses on coffee, flour, and, uh, flowers, and chocolate. During the presentation, all participants will be in a listen-only mode. If you would like to ask a question during the presentation, please use the chat feature located in the lower left corner of your screen. If you need to reach an operator at any time, please press star zero. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded Thursday, April 3rd, 2014, and I would now like to turn the conference over to Tatiana Gormley. Please go ahead. Good morning, everyone. So um, we'd like to start by telling you why sustainability? Why did we pick the word? And we've been working on trying to understand different dimensions of words for the past few years. We've done healthy and value most recently. But um, the way we came up with the words was actually asking you, asking our clients, what are some of the words that are most relevant? And sustainability was definitely at the top of the list of words that you wanted to know. Um, what does it mean to consumers? Um, so, um, but why sustainability? That's because it's a critical initiative for many of you and the companies you work for. And it also impacts multiple facets of what you do. But more importantly, it's about the future. It's about, uh, you know, not just the future of your company, but yours and the ones that come after us. And the mindset of today's consumers also reflects the changing behavior and the change in values and a sense of purpose. So these consumers are more and more making a point to buy products from companies that share values similar to their own. Therefore, you know, it's, it's important to understand what it means to them. But sustainability has some inherent challenges. What does it mean for the consumer perspective, right? Uh, many of the products you see nowadays on shelf or you buy support sustainability, but are consumers aware of it? Do they care? Um, what is it that they think that sustainability is all about? That's why we wanted to team up with the Rainforest Alliance for this study. We wanted to explore sustainability with an organization that has the passion for sustainability in their DNA. In fact, many of you may be familiar with the Rainforest Alliance or your company may be even working with them. So now I'd like to introduce you Wilson Griffin from the Rainforest Alliance and he can tell you a little bit more about the company and their initiatives. Thanks, Tatiana, and thank you, Buzzback, for partnering with us on this project and inviting me to come on and speak today. So as a global sustainability nonprofit with a wide range of complex activities, um, it's, it's a difficult challenge for us to communicate what we do in a way that's clear, digestible, and resonates with stakeholders and consumers. And that's why we really appreciate this research from Buzzback, which is incredibly important to us as an organization and also our stakeholders. So I'm going to give a, a brief overview of Rainforest Alliance. I'm sure some of you are familiar. I recognize quite a few names on the registration list, so uh, I'll keep it quick in general. Uh, bottom left there, that's our president, Tanzi Whalen, on a cocoa farm in Ghana. On the right, you'll see a number of chocolate bars with the Rainforest Alliance certified seal. And what that seal indicates is that the cocoa in those chocolate bars was sourced from Rainforest Alliance certified farms. And then in the upper right, you'll see our mission statement. And we work 
you know, a wide breadth of activities. We work with producers to importers, uh, producer, uh, excuse me, processors and manufacturers, all the way to retailers and consumers. So that is quite a bit to convey when we talk about the work that we do. Uh, we're a 26-year-old organization. Uh, we focus in agriculture, forestry, tourism, and climate change. Uh, there are currently over 190 million acres of land that are managed sustainably under Rainforest Alliance certification. And to become Rainforest Alliance certified, a farm or forestry operation would be audited uh, against the standard sustainable practices that includes things such as a ban on child labor and employee discrimination, protective equipment for workers, uh, waste management policies, buffer zones between crop areas and water sources, and a number of other criteria. And once a farm or forestry operation is uh, passes that audit and is uh, becomes Rainforest Alliance certified, anything produced on those farms or in those forests can then be marketed and sold as Rainforest Alliance certified and can bear that, that seal that you see in the photo there. So from there, I'll show you a short video that goes into a little bit more detail linking the seal and small purchasing decisions to the impacts that our organization makes through our work on the ground. And just a reminder uh, for anyone out there who's listening on their phone, uh, the sound is only going to come through on this video through your computer. Uh, so please turn up your computer speakers if you'd like to hear the audio. You're at the store stocking up on supplies for the week. You pick up some bananas labeled with the little green frog sticker. You grab a stack of paper with the same seal. You toss coffee, tea, pineapples, and chocolate into the cart, along with notebooks and pencils for your kids. All of these products bear the Rainforest Alliance certified seal. Sure, the frog is cute, but what does it mean? Well, this little amphibian is your ticket to smart, sustainable shopping. When you purchase products that feature the green frog seal, you're supporting farmers like Cico Biora Marie Francoise. Farmers, as well as foresters, committed to a healthy environment and a healthy future for their families, communities, and the planet. Cico Biora is one of 10,000 tea farmers in Rwanda who have learned Rainforest Alliance certified methods for recycling, composting, and planting trees on their land. She now farms better, smarter, and more productively. Tea, coffee, and other products that feature the Rainforest Alliance certified seal come from sustainable farms and forests, where crops grow in harmony with the forest, where soil is protected from erosion, and where workers, their families, and communities are contributing to a cleaner environment. It's not just Rwandan farmers like Siko Biora who benefit from certification. Around the world, Rainforest Alliance certified farms and forests sustain more than 2.5 million workers and their families. Take one small action to support big changes. Choose Rainforest Alliance Certified. So as you can see, when we talk about the work that we do, we try to forge a connection between the consumer and an individual farmer or country, a crop, something that they can really latch on to beyond just numbers and statistics that probably won't uh, resonate with them as much as a narrative will. Uh, and on this slide, you'll see a definition of sustainability that we use at the Rainforest Alliance. And we recognize that this isn't a global definition of sustainability and that many of you out there will have a different definition, either individually or for your business. Uh, but this is one way that, that we like to look at sustainability. And one of the really interesting things about the Buzzback research is the different ways, especially in different markets, um, that both individuals and companies uh, view sustainability and view uh, words around sustainability and different associations that they might have with that word. Um, so from there, I will turn it back over to Tatiana for her research, and I will be available for questions at the end. Thank you. Thank you, Wilson. Okay, so back to what is sustainability. Um, that's what we're going to try to get you to understand. What do consumers understand by sustainability? And the way we're going to do that is by taking you through not just the standard, what products and categories and brands they associate with sustainability, but are there any emotions or images or other associations that come to mind when they think about the word? Um, we're going to do this through um, the use of some visual associations. So we use a lot of projective and enabling techniques 
techniques to try to get to the subconscious of what consumers think, as well as just probing them on words and products that they um, associate with the theme. We enter 